Hi everyone, we're going to do something a little different today. It is nearly 10 past 2 in the morning and the date is now the 23rd of February. So it's Sunday. Now, um, earlier in the week I put a video up. Actually no, I think it was last week. Um, I put a video up anyway where I'd got a bunch of these lamps and some other lamps and whatnot and I was showing you them all and whatnot and I mentioned I wanted a static version like this one. Um, one of my viewers who also collects lamps contacted me and very kindly sent me this one so um, his username is 2006JA89 that's his eBay username and he's always got various road lamps for sale on there in case you're interested go give him a look but anyway another friend of mine popped up earlier in the week who also collects such lamps um, and he gave me a lamp holder to actually come out of one of these just the lamp holder bit not the whole base like this just this piece because it does come off um, And um, it had three wires on it. This is the actual one. I had three wires on it. Um, and as you can see, one of them's fallen off. But uh, I actually found out that that's your negative. So when you put that on the negative terminal, and this one on the positive, the middle one, um, the lamp would be steady burn. And if you actually took that one out of the way and touched this wire to the positive terminal on the battery the lamp flashed you can see the little photo cell on the circuit board there so what I want to do is convert this one so first we need to take the lid off if I can get it off I'm going to do this at a bit of an awkward angle as well because because uh, yeah there we go so, I'm actually just going to prove that this is flashing. It's actually flashing photo cell. Right. So I'll just put a battery in it. I'm just going to move my screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. So, line that up. Turn it on. And it flashes. Okay. It's not very bright because the... Um, the batteries on that one aren't very good. So I'm going to put all that to one side. I've got the soldering iron here already heated up. What I need to do is take this base out. Like so. Put the lens to one side. So I'm going to take the bulb out for safekeeping. This is the bit we need to get off. And this has actually got the brown wire on. Now, these wires come off really easy. They're not soldered. To these contacts, all you've got to do is if you give it a little yank, they come off. You see, it's literally the pressure of the springiness of this which is making the connection. And we do the same with the neutral. Now, I should be able to just wiggle this off, pull those wires through. This is the bit we want. Now, as you can see. This one is actually totally different. I can't do it with this one. <laughs> it's got a different LDR on it and only the two different contacts. Bear with me one moment. Right, found a circuit I think I can do it with. I've actually learned something new as well. You see there's two different colours. I'm guessing one is older than the other. So you don't want this darker yellow base. Don't worry, I'll put that back together later. So, I'll take the bulb out of this one. <laughs> take the two wires off. We start all over again. Oh, that's it. Like so. Wiggle this bit off. Yep, we can do it with this one. So you want the brighter yellow base. If it's got the darker yellow base you can't do it so that's something else i've literally learned whilst making this a video 
But as you can see, there's three contacts there. We need to move this red wire to the middle one. So I'm going to stick it on my uh, helping hand here, like so. So I'm going to this heated up. So I'm going to try and do this as best I can so you can see. It's uh, not easy. I'm not really that used to doing this. If I get in the way, I do apologise. So I need to heat that up and remove the live wire like that. I'll let you into a secret. I've already done this once, just as an experiment. I want to know if it did actually work before I start the video. Now what I need to do is hopefully that on there like that uh, I think I will use that base I'll zoom you back out it's as simple as that I've just turned uh, a flashing lamp with photo cell into a steady burn with photo cell you can see a little photo cell in there see the other one the other one might even be newer, I'm not sure. One's newer than the other, because if we look at this one, it's got an LED version of the photocell, or the photoresistor. There's a number of names for it. Photocell, photoresistor, light-dependent resistor. Yeah, there is no other contact on that one, so this is a completely different circuit. Now, where do I put the... <laughs> lost the base for a second there. Right, so I'm going to poke the wires back through here. We'll put it together, we'll chuck a battery in it and make sure it works. Mind you, if I actually just grab the battery, I'm going to check it works now, can't I? There we go. It's going to come on even though the light is on in the kitchen because. Uh, it's not that bright. I actually like this design of circuit. I think um, it just shows how smart Dorman was with their um, designs. It's a very neat looking circuit. Um, and by actually having dual functions on one circuit board it actually means they don't need um, to manufacture a separate circuit for a lamp that uh, is steady burn with photo cell. They can just manufacture the one circuit board and um, just tack the wire onto whichever contact they want if they want to make a batch of uh, flashing with photo cell and they tack it on the uh, outside if they want a static one they tack it in the middle I think that's what I've got to do <laughs> I've totally forgotten now look at this one no static is in the middle right, this is actually marked as well it's got plus there and negative there so what I need to do is take this one round and uh, might do it with these just to bend this contact out Drop, hopefully. Ouch. I tried it with fingernails earlier and it actually did hurt. Because there's that much uh, spring tension in there. Yeah, I might actually just have to go and get a small pair of pliers or something to do this. Let's try again with the snips. It just proves how um, strong this wire is because the snips won't even cut it. Yeah, that's the only downside, it's a bit fiddly fat. Let me just go and get some um, pliers. No, I won't because I haven't got any up here. <laughs> yeah. 
a sort of throat spanner and that works, hasn't it? I'm going to have to um, make do with this, unfortunately. Maybe... So much easier pulling them off than it is to get them back on. Yay, nay, it's a definite maybe. Can I? Got it. There we go, there's one. More I've got to do. Can I use my finger on this one? Ow! Hold on just a minute. I've got to put that one on the wrong friggin' one. Stupidly, I did the exact same thing on the other circuit. Might be here sometime. I'm just gonna ban some. Now let's see if these are gonna work better. Cool. Nope. <laughs> Short answer to that. Can I get it from the other side? Maybe. This positive one is the toughest. And I'm not kidding, it really is the toughest. Can I do it from this side? Ah. Hope we get you that just about maybe I can. Finally did it. I'm just off camera. <laughs> so, when it's back together, now these do go in a certain way. They will only go in the one way. Like so, lock it in. That's quite good as well because it actually locks into the base. There's three tabs. Alright, put the test battery in there. There's a little arrow on there as well, so in theory, got another static one. There we go. Whew. Yeah, like I said, I've actually got one there as well. I'm going to try and put one on eBay, because I don't see many static ones on eBay, so actually I haven't seen any for a long while. They all seem to be flashing ones. I'm pretty certain that is just down to a, a knackered battery. Uh, they've, been, they've been kicking around a while, those four Polaroids. And I've just noticed as well that in the bases of these I've got little drain holes in case any water gets in. It shouldn't from its design, but I suppose... Uh, there's still a risk of condensation or, and whatnot getting in there, so... You know, that's definitely a lot brighter, isn't it? Anyway, I do hope you like this video. It's something a bit different. Um, I guess i got to say, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!